There are many plugins for Elementor that offers an unfold widget in their kit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create one for free using containers and a little bit of code. But before we start, what does unfold mean exactly? Well, it's basically a piece of content divided into two parts, a visible one and a hidden one. And to reveal the hidden part, there is a trigger, in this case, a button. So when we click the button, the hidden content gets revealed. Click the button one more time and the content is hidden again. So that's what it means to unfold. So besides this one, I'm going to show you two more versions. The second version is also triggered by a click, but you can click anywhere to open it and click anywhere you want to close it. The third version is triggered by hovering. So when you hover over it, it unfolds and when you move away, it closes. So let me show you how to create these three versions. We're going to start with a brand new page. The layout is element of full width. So I got here my header and my footer. Now make sure to follow my exact steps for this effect to work properly. Okay. So we're going to start by creating a new container, direction row. We're going to go to settings, items, justify content and align it to the center. Next, we're going to grab another container and drop it into this container. Now we're going to start with the button click version first. So I'm going to name this container button trigger. Make sure that the button trigger container is selected. Go to content width and choose full width. Next, we're going to make sure that the width is set to percentage and give it a 25. Next, we're going to go to Elementos widgets tab, grab another container and drop it into this container. And we're going to name it Unfold content. Great. So now we're going to start building our unfold column. Okay. So we're going to start with all the content that we want to be visible. So I'm going to drop an image and a heading. And now we're going to grab another container and drop it, it also just beneath our heading. And we're going to name this container hidden content. And now we're going to drop here all the content that we want to be hidden. So I'm going to drop a text editor and an icon list and another heading. Now I'm going to design it real quick so it looks nice. Done. Next, we're going to go to the widgets tab and grab a button and drop it beneath everything you see here. Just make sure that the button widget is beneath the unfold content container and within the button trigger container. Okay, that's very important. We're going to go to the button settings, the alignment, we're going to make it justified and we're going to change the text to show more. Great. Next, I'm going to go to the widgets tab, grab an HTML widget and drop it beneath our button. Now we need the code, so let's get it. In the description, you have a link that's going to bring you to this page. If you're looking for some cool CSS animation, you can check out this one, but we're going to click on the unfold effect. Here we have the code for the three versions of the unfold effect. Now we are working on the button trigger one, and here we have all the info, the actual code and two CSS classes, one for the container and one for the button. So now we're going to start with the container. So I'm going to copy the name, go back, make sure the unfold content container is selected. Go to Advanced, CSS Classes, and paste it here. Great. Now we're going to go back and copy the CSS class for the button. I'm going to go back, select the button, Advanced, CSS Classes, and paste it over here. Now we're going to go back again, click the click to copy code. We're going to go back. We're going to select the HTML widget and we're gonna paste the code. And as you can see, the effect is activated and you can't see the hidden part. We're gonna update and preview. And now let's see if it works. So I'm gonna click to show more and I'm gonna click to show less. Perfect. Now let's go back and talk about the button. So let's say you wanna change the text on the button. We're going to go to the code and where it says show more, we're going to delete this and replace it with anything that we want. So I'm going to type open. 
Now I'm going to do the same to show less. I'm going to type uh, close. Now I'm going to select the button and go to content and change it here as well. So I'm going to type open. I'm going to update and preview. And now as you can see, it changed and it works. Now we're going to go back. Now I want to show you the right way to duplicate this unfold widget that we've created. So I'm going to go and select the button trigger container and I'm going to type Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm going to come to the second one and delete the HTML widget. And now I'm going to select this container and now I can duplicate it as many times as I want. If you leave here the HTML widget, the unfold effect won't work, all right? So keep in mind to delete and then duplicate the one without the HTML widget. So I'm going to update and preview. And now as you can see, they are all working. So that was the button trigger version. Let's go back and create the box trigger version. So I'm going to control Z twice. We're going to remain with this one. I'm going to select the HTML widget and drop it beneath our button. I'm going to select the button and delete it. We're going to go to our code page, box trigger, and copy the new CSS class name. Copy, go back, make sure that the unfold content container is selected, advanced, CSS class, and paste the new name. We're going to go back to our code, click to copy code, go back, HTML widget, and paste it. We're going to update and preview. And now you can click anywhere you want to open it and click anywhere you want to close it. So that was the box trigger. Let's go back and create the last version, which is triggered by hovering. So I'm going to duplicate this container. I'm going to go grab the code, hover trigger, and copy the CSS class. I'm going to go back, make sure that the unfold content container is selected, advanced, CSS classes, and then paste here the new name. We're going to go back again, click to copy the code, back, select the HTML widget, Control A to select everything, delete, and Control V to paste the new code. Update and preview. And now as you can see, when I hover, it unfolds. So those were the three versions of the unfold effect. Now let's go back. I want to go through a couple of things. The first one is how to add box shadow. So for the last two versions, all you need to do is make sure that the unfold content container is selected, go to style, border, and apply the box shadow. We're going to do the same for the second one unfold content container, style, border, and apply the box shadow. But for the button trigger one, we need to add a container. So we're going to go to the widgets tab, grab a container, and put it just beneath our button. I'm going to name this container box shadow. And now we're going to move all this content into this container. So I'm going to grab the unfold content container. I'm going to grab the, the button widget and the HTML widget. I'm going to make sure that the box shadow container is selected. Style, border, apply the box shadow, update, and preview. And as you can see, we have here the unfold effect with the box shadow. So now let's go back. I want to go through how to make changes once the code is applied and we don't have access to the hidden part. So what you need to do is make sure that the unfold content container is selected, go to advanced CSS class, and just add a number one at the end. And as you can see, it unfolds, and now you can make the changes that you want. You can add content, delete content, whatever you need. So that's how you get access to the hidden part. I'm gonna control Z to go back. The last thing I wanna show you is that you have control over how much is hidden in the hidden part. 
And that's perfect for the version with no button when you want to hint your visitors that there is more content here and maybe they should click it. So the way to do that is to go to the code. So I'm gonna select the HTML widget. I'm gonna go to the code where it says max height and I'm gonna give it 50 pixels. And now we can see a little bit of the content. And of course, you're gonna play with it and adjust it to your design. I'm gonna update and preview. And now we get a little bit of the content showing and when you hover, the rest of it gets revealed. I really like this effect. It enables you to display larger content in a smaller space and make a website more clean, interactive, and just a better user experience for your visitors. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.